Okay, yo, uh, I made it back inside now. Freshen up a little bit. But uh I just want to reiterate on a message uh I talked about when I spoke on Exodus about us leaving. You know, and when the children of Israel was leaving Egypt, God put a spell on the Egyptian that anything they asked for, they give it to them. So this spell is, is, is put on these, these, these Egyptians. You feel what I'm saying? These so-called Egyptians. But it's the same metaphor, though. You know, But we know who the true Egyptian is. When you look at the Pharaoh and he got that shit tied up, the long hanging like that, ain't nobody shit can get that long and thick like that. You know what I'm saying? He kept that motherfucking do-rag on to keep the dust out of his hair and shit. You feel me? Yo. But we already know that. But these so-called Egyptians... There's a spell on them. Anything you ask them for, they're going to have to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? But there's a verse in the Bible that I just thought about. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm just like, damn. You know, in the Exodus, I told them that uh, to ask because there's a spell on the Egyptian. But only the two children of Israel is going to real is going to receive that. You know what I'm saying? So you can ask all you want. If you ain't got that coming, it's not coming to you. But if you're the two children of Israel, this is the season. Because everything that was taken from you will be given to you in double portion. Isaiah 61. You know what I'm saying? And your children is going to be known as priests and priestesses of the Lord. And you're going to be known as people favored by the Lord. It is written. So it must come about. And this is the season we're in. Anyway, the verse said, you have not because you ask not. That's one. Because in your mind, you believe you got to work for it. You don't believe like shit can actually happen and just fall in your motherfucking lap. But we in a season of miracles for those children. You know what I'm saying? And they said, if you ask, you will receive. That's two verse now. I didn't give you talking about asking and receiving. You have not because you ask not. If you ask, you will receive. There's none that ever asked that haven't received. You see, that's three. Now, let me hit you with the, the, the fourth one. There's so many, but I'm just going to give you like four of them. You know what I'm saying? Four shots. The other one is said, ask anything. Believing in your heart, you will receive. It tells us over and over again, but we don't believe and we don't ask. We listen to what these motherfuckers tell us. Man, I stayed in Atlanta. When I went to Atlanta, man, I couldn't believe it. Like all these young niggas... They wasn't working or nothing, man. They was going donating plasma. Once a week or something like that, they would go. I think you got to wait three days. They would go in there, donate their plasma, get $50. They take their blood out, take the plasma out, and put their blood back into them. So I'm looking at these niggas, right? These niggas young, but these niggas all drawn and fucked up. But ain't nobody over there giving plasma but niggas. Ain't nobody buying it but, but, but uh, 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 you know who buying the motherfucking plasma who need that shit. So I'm like, man, there's something in us that's worth a lot of money, but these motherfuckers giving away for $50. Man, y'all better wake up and realize who y'all are, man. It's sad to say, but these people got us around for a different reason. Like, we food. <laughs> Real shit. They eating our kids. Hillary Clinton, pizza gig. These motherfuckers vampires for motherfucking real, man. Y'all motherfuckers better put y'all garlic on, man. That's the blood of Christ and better open your eyes to this shit. Motherfucker band and it's past hook we can bamboozle, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, that's it. Over with. Shit stop now. Y'all be blessed, man. You have to be aware, man. Read. Fuck listening to what motherfuckers tell you, man. Read. That's what they doing. They know who we are, so they know how to make us function. Red and blue light. When red and blue light come together in your subconscious, it gives you fear and it gives you submissive. Why do you think they put red and blue light together? These motherfuckers working on frequency. All the prison walls is all painted like ice cream, cream white. Because that's another color that gives you submissive. You know what I'm saying? Signs and symbol. They the sirens. That gives you fear. These motherfuckers know all this shit because they read their books and they using motherfucking psychology warfare on us, man. But we just, we just walk around bumping a, a motherfucking offset. All them niggas gay. 
Them niggas ain't never did shit. Them niggas rapping about shit we do. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga said, who's scared of Lil Boosie? Lil Boosie got diabetes. Like, we one of them rap niggas that, that, that's, that's about that life. All that shit is, is like a movies. When they shoot this person, they making all that shit up. All that shit sacrifice, man. All that shit is rituals and shit to keep your attention. Man, fuck all them niggas. Let them pull up, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Ain't about no gun. Because that spirit can't be around me. Ego cannot dwell in my present. Can't be around me. One of me run up a thousand, two of us, two, two, three, three thousand. That's the type of shit I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Because I know who my enemy is. It's not flesh and blood. Y'all be blessed.